Long story short, in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom my account tabs, for example, your courses, and I'm going to show you how to output your own content inside it. For example, in this case, this your courses shows learn dash courses that I have purchased. So if I click on it, I can use it. Also, I'm going to show you how to rename WooCommerce my account tabs, for example, as you see, my dashboard, my address and so on. And I'm going to show you how to reorder them in, a, in an easy way. And as a bonus tip, I'm going to show you how to remove those my account tabs you don't need. So without any lengthy introduction, I'm going to jump in and going to show you how to do that. Now, as you probably saw, I also have a, an alternative version of the my account page here. This one is a tabbed one. If I click on my courses, it shows learn dash courses and under the support, there is a support form. I'm not going to show you today how to do that because I already have created a video about it. If you're interested and take a look at this video, I'm going to put the link into the description. But now let's create another tab here and this time let's create a tab called support. So you have two options. First option, you're going to tweak your child team's functions PHP file. I'm not going to suggest you to do that. I'm going to suggest you to go to the plugins and add new and search for plugin called code snippets because this one allows us to add the code snippets I'm going to show you today in an easy way. All the code snippets I'm going to show you, take a look at the description of this video because there is a link to the blog post which contains all of those. So install and activate code snippets. Now go to snippets and add new. Give it a title, for example, support endpoint. Now let's paste this code snippet here and a couple of explanations. There are five steps and every step is shown as explanation here. Now what you should do, take a look at this customer support endpoint. The endpoint is this URL here. So change this URL here as needed. And also if you do that here, then you have to do it also here, here, and take a look also here. Next one, the tab name goes here, support. Next one, if you would like to add some content to the tab, here goes a short code. I'm, I'm going to add the contact form over there. Here goes uh, heading three. You can add whatever HTML you would like to add here. And here goes the text. Now the last one, pay attention that if you save it, you have to go and resave the permalinks. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do that. So run snippet everywhere, save changes and activate. Let's go to the my, my account page and let's refresh it. As you see, we have a support tab here. If I click on it, it will give me, oops, that page can't be found. That's why I said that step five, you have to go to the settings, permalinks, and you have to just save it. Now, if I refresh the page, as you see, my support tab is here. This is a heading I added. This is a text and this is a form over here. Now let's add another endpoint and this time I'm going to show you how to do that for the learn dash. So back to snippets, add new, give it a title, learn dash endpoint, paste the snippet. I change the URLs here, 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 and here. And I added learn dash profile shortcode here. One more thing though. If you're going to add more than one endpoint, then be sure to change all the function names. As you see, this function is add support endpoint, but this one here is add LMS endpoint. If you have functions with the same name, you will end up with errors on your site. So all done, save changes and activate, back to settings, permalinks, save it, back to my account, refresh it, click on your courses and it opens up. If you are interested how to merge learn dash account page and WooCommerce account page, then take a look at the description of this video. A couple of months ago, I, ha I have created in-depth video on this topic. And if you take a look at that, it will help you to merge those two accounts in a way that it is comfortable for you and your customers. So this will conclude the first part. Now let's take a look how to reorder the My Account tabs because I would like those support and your courses tabs to be much higher. Therefore, I'm going to go to the snippets once again, add new, give it a title, for example, change endpoint order, and now paste this snippet here. 
couple of things for you to point out. You have to add all the endpoints you have here. At the moment I have nine endpoints. So if you, I want to reorder them, I have to add all the endpoints here. And I'm going to add them in a order I would like them to appear. So dashboard, orders, your courses. Here goes the slug we have here. This one up here. Next one is support. I'm going to grab this slug here. And rename the tab support. And since I have listed all nine of those here, I'm going to just save changes and activate. Now let's refresh the page. And as you see, I just reordered all the tabs here, your courses and support. There is a typo, although I have to fix this one here. Save changes. Now let's take a look how to remove endpoints. Let's remove this downloads, for example. And the best way to do that is I'm going to go to the WooCommerce settings, advanced, and now there are checkout endpoints. Since I don't have any downloads on my site, I'm going to just delete this one here, save changes. And if I refresh it, it's still there, but it's because I used the one in the change the endpoint order. I have to delete this one also here. If you're not going to change the endpoint orders, I'm going to deactivate the snippet. And as you see, the downloads is gone. But since I use this one here, I'm going to activate it once more. It appears back here, but if I click on it, it will end up with oops, that page can't be found. So if you're using both endpoint order options, and you would like to remove some of the endpoints or tabs, you have to remove them from here also. Now let's change it. Go back to my account. And there it is, our custom order of tabs without the downloads tab. Last one, let's rename some of those here. I'm going to just open up the same snippet, which I used for changing endpoint orders. Now I'm going to just rename the text here, my dashboard, my orders, my wish lists, my addresses, and so on. I'm going to save it, refresh it, and there you go. As you saw, it wasn't so difficult to add custom tabs, rename tabs, remove tabs, and it wasn't also difficult to change the endpoint order. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to click on the like button. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel. And before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.